took steaks. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What? Beautiful, thank you. Chef Barry again. Yeah, yeah. He does so good with the Barbie. Yeah, he's good with the Barbie. Yeah, get that. That's it. You don't it's have like a relish, do it. Real yeah. Martin to ride! This is the Welcome Center sign-in area and the bulletin boards of all the activities here. Here's where we'll try and have the W72 Special Event Station. Here's the That's Special Event about. Station, the solar panel. And here, here's the station, 7610. It's at the 9100. Yeah, 9, yeah. And the Big Mama Bioanol battery. And if you're familiar with the wind system of linked repeaters all across, I don't know, the country or the world, they're out here. And every morning they provide free coffee. And a little windy today. Good morning, Quartz Fest. It's Wednesday morning sunrise. About 36 degrees out this morning. Brr. It's about 7.20. Usually somebody gets the campfire going in the morning. But I think with the uh, the cold morning, everybody's hunkered down inside their rigs, so it's uh, still pretty early and pretty chilly. Yesterday we had really high winds. I thought this blue canopy was going to take off. <laughs> it was flapping and blowing, and the side tarps were shredding and ripping off. And boy, if they would let loose, it would go for well, who knows how far out here. It's always a good thing to check the schedule to see what's on today. We have DMR Networks, Solar Controllers, Handy Hams, Outdoor Survival, Windlink, Ladies Circle, FT8, Working Logging and Configuring Contacts, DYI Electric Bikes, Tracking Rockets, Basket Weaving, and we got an Amateur Radio Test today, the Solar Walkabout this afternoon. It'll be a busy day. All types of rigs out here. Here's a, a tent that falls out from the back of a pickup truck. It's a sad day today. Jerry and Amy have to leave. They're gonna leave about noon. It's been a lot of fun having them join us this year. We've had a lot of good times. I hear Bob's generator running. That might mean there's coffee. Let's take a look. Coffee Patrol. I said the generator's yeah, run. Ready to go. That must mean there's coffee. There's coffee. Uh, We're having beans for breakfast. Beans for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously know what to do with yeah. uh, Oh boy. Well, all That's we have is used cups. Used cups. Yeah. Oh, okay. The other cups are outside. Oh. But the coffee's hot. hot coffee. Ready to go. Okay. We're cold. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> it's like 36 out. <laughs> it's a quartz fest morning. What we do every morning is move the solar panels because the sun sets over there and it's coming up over there. So I've got to swing everything around. Off we go, making making power. Good morning, Gordo and Susie. Ham exams this morning yeah. at Quartz Fest. Yeah, Yay. and no wind. No wind. And what's what's the problem here, Gordo? 
Oh, we have no problem. No sunshine. No sunshine on these panels. Oh, this problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're hoping for it will induce uh, electrons to go into the battery. But we got a 100 amp hour bio inno battery, so we're going to be in great, great shape. shape. Cool. See you later. Let the sunshine and electrons flow. This is K7TM with his rover truck. He's got the mass down, but pretty nice. Six meter beam up there. A couple of, uh, and a couple of halo type antennas. Um, it's probably close enough that we can take uh, questions in general. Again, this update, if you're just a new user, don't be bashful to grab me and ask um, setting up questions or anything else. Well, they just finished up the DMR session, so there's a lot of uh, hardware on the table here, radios and hotspots and such. The only thing that it doesn't have to And here is Ray Novak's uh, rig with his 40 meter hex beam on the back of his motorhome. Pretty impressive. Another shot of Ray's rig. So you see all types of setups out here, you know. Nice modern, uh, new RVs and others that look like to be a lifetime project. Fully customized. And here's everybody out on the solar walkabout. Let's take a closer look. Because of the heat. And, uh, and, and to illustrate that, one time I went up there with a, with a hose and sprayed water on them. And, and you can see... Oh, quiet. So uh, you could you could see there you could no, see the uh, the amperage go up, and then as the panels dried and reheated, it went back down again. And there's a 20 percent difference in that uh, circumstance. Any more questions? What kind of battery bank? Golf cart batteries in a uh, series parallel arrangement. Um, so and. And the total ampere hours is about 600 ampere hours. Gotcha. So it's the whole thing is not quite enough to support the refrigerator, but uh, but it takes care of all the radios and lights and and such like that. You full time in this? Yeah, full time. And Home is where I park it. How long would you say you're able to uh, be off grid without any 110 from anything else? Well, just pretty much solar. as long as the propane lasts. Oh. You know, the propane runs the refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, the but rest of it just goes on forever. I can, I can go two or three days, um, you know, depending on how many radios I leave turned on. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, the thing typically around here, the way things are at the moment, uh, I'll be down to 80% by morning. And, uh, and then by mid-afternoon, it's all charged up again. Okay. <laughs> Ray is here with us this week, not as a representative of ICOM. Ray is uh, ICOM senior sales manager. He's here with us this week as a camper, just enjoying Quartz Fest like the rest of us. However, Ray is here. Come on up, Ray. Ray is here to show us a brand new piece of equipment that is not being demoed at Dayton, is not being demoed at, at uh, yeah. Orlando, yet, 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 yet. It's being introduced for the first time ever right here at Quartz Fest. Now, before he tells you what it is, I'll let you tell him what it is. Um, I got to tell you that Ray told me if we reach 1,000 in attendance, he's going to give us, donate to us, one of these things for our grand prize. What is it, Ray? Radio. All right, to, to add to that, though, to go along with what you said, it's for the Friday night drawing before the swap fest. Okay. For the attendance. 
to reward those of you that have come here and made this such an incredible event. And Chris, thank you very much for inviting me. Glad I was able to make it this year. I tried last year and it did not work. The radio is the IC9700, VHF, UHF, 1.2 gig. It's a matching twin to the 7300. And I'm glad the prizes went quicker, but the sun hasn't set yet, so we can turn it on, but you won't be able to see it in the direct sunlight. But we will take it over, hopefully, to a special event station where we have some shade. It is a sample. I believe the decal's on the bottom. It's a hand-built prototype. It is not a fully functional radio. And the, the plan was to come out here and do the VHF UHF contest this weekend with it and kind of i was wanting to stay incognito just be a ham like the rest of you and due to social media <laughs> a ham figured out that i had one of these and then blasted it that i'm coming to quartz fest and it's going to be there and then our social media manager goes are you going to be at quartz fest with this <laughs> yes and the next thing I know, to, next thing I know, I get a notification that I've been tagged in a post saying that I'm coming here to show this radio. <laughs> so, some of you found out where I'm hanging out, knocked on the door today while I was in a conference call. But sorry to to say, nope, got to kick you out. It was for tonight to show here. Um, we're looking for for the prize itself. We won't be able to have it till end of March, April time frame. That's when we're expecting to receive our first production of the radio. Uh, it is 100 watts on VHF, all mode. I don't remember how many watts on uh, AM. 432, it's 75 watts. Wow. And 1.2 gig at 10 watts. It does the D digital voice for D-Star, as well as the 128K data on the 1.2 gig. It's got our RSPA1 server built in, so if you want a remote base, operate VHF, UHF, you can do that with it. Um, HF? No HF in it. The matching twin to 7300 is HF and 6. And since the word was out that I was here with it, I posted a couple of photos of them stacked above each other. Everybody's like, oh, no, 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 they need to be horizontal. And I'm like, well, you guys haven't done a VHF contest before. You want them straight in front of you so you can monitor the three, v the three bands easily. You don't want to look side to side and have to reach over here and reach over here. Just keep it very in line. Okay, uh, we don't have a price set on it yet. We're still waiting to get final pricing. We have seen where uh, the UK have, has already gone ahead and advertised around 1,800 pounds. Uh, Japan's around 180,000 yen. I'm still negotiating it because I want to sell the most of them, so I want a better price. All right, congratulations, brand new hams. One, two, three, here we go. I got one.